Hello guys, a warm welcome to you all to the another lecture of partial derivatives. In the previous lecture, we have discussed the introduction to partial derivatives and solved some of the basic problems on it. In this class, we will learn about the second order partial derivatives and we will do some problems on it. Okay, let us start with the second order partial derivatives. First of all, I'm taking a function f of x comma y. We can differentiate this f of x comma y into two variables, right? With respect to x and with respect to y. And if you observe carefully, we can again differentiate it with respect to x and y for each of the terms. With respect to x, we can again differentiate this with respect to x and with respect to y. And we can again differentiate y with respect to x and with respect to y, right? Let us see how. I am differentiating dou by dou x of dou f upon dou x it gives dou square f upon dou x square, right? Or we can also call it as fxx. Since we are differentiating this twice, we name it as fxx. And we can differentiate it with respect to y as well. With respect to y, I'm differentiating dou f upon dou x. We call it as dou square f upon dou y dou x, or we have to call it as f x y. Since we are first differentiating with respect to x and then differentiating with respect to y, we have to call it as a f x y. In a similar manner, we have to differentiate Dou, uh, dou by dou x of uh, dou f by dou y, what we get is uh, dou square f upon uh, dou x dou y. We can also call it as uh, f of y x. Since we are differentiating first with, first first with respect, respect to y and then with respect to x. And finally, I'm differentiating with respect to y. Dou square f upon a dou y square, or we can also call it as f y y. Okay. I I hope you understand this one. This is a very simple thing. We'll see some of the problems related to the second order partial derivatives, and uh, we'll solve this. Let us see the first question. Here again, f of x comma y equals x plus y plus x y. Let's differentiate with respect to x. Sorry. Do f by do x. What we get? Differentiation of x is one plus differentiation of y with respect to x is zero plus differentiation of uh, x, y. Where y is a constant, right? Differentiation of x is one. We can write y. One plus y. I hope you got this one. And differentiation with respect to y, what we get is uh, differentiation with respect to y of x zero plus y one plus x. Okay. Again, differentiation this equation will get is zero because the differentiation of y with respect to x is zero, right? In a similar way, differentiation of x with, x with respect to y is again zero. 
will differentiate with respect to y this time we'll get 1 plus y differentiation of uh, y with respect to y it's 1 right i'm differentiating this with respect to x this time let's see what it comes It's zero and it's one. If you observe this carefully, dou square f upon a dou y dou x is similar to the dou square f upon a dou x dou y. This is not just a coincidence. These two must be equal. It is also called as mixed derivative theorem. It's called as mixed derivative theorem. These two must be equal in each and every problem we are solving. Let's see if it is uh, equal or not. And let's see the second problem. We are given f of x comma y equals x square y plus cos y plus y sin x. Okay, let us try to differentiate with respect to x this time. Differentiating f with respect to x, what we get is x square y. Since y is constant, differentiation of x is 2x times y plus y it is all becomes a zero zero plus y sine x y cos x differentiation of sine x is cos x therefore 2x y plus cos x dou square f upon dou x square just differentiating this equation once again what we see is a 2y uh, cos x is minus sin x minus y sin x. I am differentiating this equation with respect to y this time. Go by dou y of uh, 2f upon dou x. We get is a uh, 2x plus cos x. And now we have to differentiate with respect to y, right? So f by do y. With respect to y, x square is constant. We can write x square minus sine y cos okay differentiation will get is sine y plus sine x okay differentiation again differentiating again we get uh, x square x square zero minus cos y i hope you get it do by do x of uh, I'm simply writing do square f upon do x do y will get uh, x square differentiation 2x and uh, it is zero it becomes zero plus sine x differentiation becomes cos x plus cos x. And therefore, these two are equal. Once again. And moving on to the third problem. They're asking f of x comma y e equals to x e power y plus y plus 1. 
let us try to derivate this with respect to x first time with respect to x derivating it becomes uh, derivative of e power y since y is constant we can write e power y plus uh, y constant it becomes zero and it all becomes zero differentiate with again do square f upon do x square since it is y what will get is zero i am differentiating now this time with respect to y this one what it becomes is uh, e power y itself right now differentiate this one with respect to y we'll get x times e power y since x is constant differentiation of e power y is e power y itself plus differentiation of y is 1 with respect to y do square f upon do y square what we will get is uh, x e power y again do square f upon do y do x what we'll get is here with respect to x we are differentiating so x will go on and we power y these two are same once again and while coming to the fourth problem okay we have to do this carefully f of x comma y equals y times e power x square minus y let us try to solve with respect to x do f upon do x what we will get is since y is constant keep y aside y times e power x square minus y e power x is e power x itself so we have to write e power x square minus y times differentiation of x square minus y what we become is 2x right so therefore it becomes 2xy times e power x square minus y okay let us try to differentiate it once again do square f upon do x square is equals now this time again y is constant i am keeping 2y aside since it is constant i'm just differentiating uh, x times e power x square minus y uh, it is a uv rule I have to differentiate to with respect to x x is 1 so therefore e square e power x square minus y plus x times e power x square differentiation is e power x square itself and differentiation of 2x okay what we'll get is 2y into e power x square minus y plus 2x square times e power x square minus y okay let us try to solve this one with respect to y this time do f upon do x in the first equation do by do y of uh, what we get in uh, do by do x is uh, 2xy times e power x square minus y 
okay differentiating with respect to y what we will get is uh, I'm taking 2x as a constant and differentiating y times e power uh, x square minus y. Therefore, e power x square minus y plus y times e power x square minus y and minus 1. So, therefore, 2x times e power x square minus y minus 2xy times e power x square minus y. Let's move on and differentiate with respect to y this time. I'm differentiating with respect to y. We'll get e power e power x square minus y minus y times e power x square minus y. Just try it by yourself and uh, I hope you get it. Two square by two y square will get minus e power x square minus y minus e power x square minus y times y times e power x square minus y. You get uh, differentiation of e power x square minus y with respect to x this time is 2x times e power x square minus y minus since y is constant we will remove it minus 2x y times e power x square minus 4. this is what this problem let's move on to the next problem fifth problem they are asking f of x comma y equals x times sine of 2x minus y square. Okay, let us try with respect to x to f by do x times the differentiation of a sine x square minus y sine of 2x minus y square plus differentiation of sine x is a cos of 2x minus y square times derivative of a 2x is 2 2 times and this x 2 times Differentiating again with respect to x, we'll get cos 2x minus y square times 2 here. The derivative of 2x is 2 since it will get 2. And plus 2 cos 2x minus y square plus 4x times minus sine of 2x minus y square. And uh, if minus gives here, we'll get minus of this. Differentiating with respect to y this time, to f upon to x will get minus 2y cos 2x minus y square plus 2x times minus sine of 2x minus y square 
times minus 2y Let us try to differentiate with respect to y this time. So f by dou y is equals minus 2y x uh, cos 2x minus y square. And differentiating again with respect to y, I'll get minus 2x times cos of uh, 2x minus y square plus y times minus sine of 2x minus y square times minus 2y. Okay, so this would we can 2x cos 2x minus y square minus 4xy square sine 2x minus y square. This is what we get in the second order derivative. will differentiate with respect to x this time dou by dou x of a dou f upon dou y. We will get uh, minus 2y times cos of uh, 2x minus y square plus x times minus sine of 2x minus y square times the derivative of 2x gives 2. And therefore, f y x is equals minus 2y cos 2x minus y square plus 2 times 4xy sine of 2x minus y square. This is what we can get. 